So in this episode, we're going to be reviewing Shatter Everything. Now, the developer reached out to us and said, hey, Bill, Bob, can you review this game? Um, give your honest opinion. And that's, that's exactly what we're going to do. Just because we got this from the developer, it is not going to sway our opinion. So we're going to be as honest as possible. And we're going to rate this game into four different categories. We're going to start with graphics. Then we're going to move on to controls, gameplay. And then finally, we're going to talk about the price of the game and whether we think the price is worth it. We're going to do it from one star to five star, one being eh. You know, the dev could work on it a little bit. Five star meaning, hey, you know what? It blew us away, you know, for what it's worth. So um, we're going to start with graphics. So, Bill, um, what did you think of the graphics in this game? When I first jumped into the game, I thought, wow, this is, this is pretty cool. And I got to tell you, watching video of the game, my fear was that when you stepped into the play area, you're, you're in sort of outer space. Right. With a box in front of you. And my fear was that it was going to give you that uneasy feeling of uh, having no floor. And I was totally wrong. The, the, the video, when you watch videos of it, you, you, you get this false sense of uh, perspective on where you right. are in the game. So when I jumped in, I was pleasantly surprised. It was a arcade VR experience, it sort of reminded me of a mix between Vectrex and yeah, Astro. For, for me, the same. And Geometry Wars. I found a little bit of Geometry Wars mixed in there also. Yes, yes, Geometry and, Wars. And you're right. When I watched this game being played online, I thought, man, this, this game's got to give you a little bit of a claustrophobic feel because you're boxed in. You're, you feel like you're, I mean, from all aspects of everything that I saw, you were you were playing in a box, like you were in a box, but that's not the case. You're actually standing outside yeah. the box. Uh, outside of a box, which which takes that perspective that I was talking about right. away from it. And gives you a feeling that you're controlling everything within right. this box. And which, which, which is not true. The way the game is played is there's these different uh, objects that start floating down into this box. What you have to shoot the objects uh, using your two controllers, aiming aiming at the objects uh, by twisting your controllers in and out, and by moving them apart, uh, moving them apart will... will a wider range of, uh, a, of shooting. Yeah, a wider ring to shoot at, and a closer one will give you a more uh, a more accurate right. shooting. Uh, so, as you're playing this uh, and you're moving your hand further away to get a, you know, a, a wider uh, shooting range, uh, uh, um, you know, to scale out your, you know, so that you're hitting more objects at the same time. There's a meter that floats over your your controller, and it'll tell you whether or not you have how, your power gauge, and you can, right. and your right trigger is fire, and then your left trigger is slow-mo, and there's another meter that tells you how much is in your reserve for a slow-mo. So the longer you hold it down, that, that reserve goes down, and then eventually you'll run out. As you shoot these objects, right. you get to collect um, via pellets, pellets, which would add to your ability to, it'll increase the amount of slow-mo you have and increase your power, or how, how much um, how much strength you have in the game. Um, and I, th I thought that was very well done. Yeah, it was very well done. And as far as the graphics, the, the, the gun that you're using, the, the little ring that pops up, uh, all of the uh, geometry, graphic, uh, you know, things that are coming down at you um, are very well put together. They, they, they looked pleasant. They were, they were not too bright. They were, you know, pleasant on the eyes. And, and you did touch on something that I, I, I uh, more of a suggestion for the developer, an enhancement, if you will. I played it for the first day and I was loving it. And then the second day is when I realized that the second controller could slow down okay. time. So this is another one of those games where it could stand for uh, just a brief description of what the controllers do. And maybe I missed it. Uh, I could have missed it, but I, don't, right. I played it a lot. Um, what, what the controllers do, uh, what the color uh, uh, capsules mean, what scoring system it is. You know, just a simple breakdown 
So it, it, it would be more enjoyable to, uh, right. to jump right now, be, in. Me being playing. the evil twin, twin that I am, when we um, when we decided to review this game, I actually figured that out right away, that you can um, you can slow things down. Matter of fact, you'll actually be able to see it on the score for it. The natural score yeah. for because yeah, I'm so actually above it you and because reason, I figured it out pretty quickly that you could slow it down. I'm like, oh, this is really cool that you can actually slow that down. I yeah. didn't share that with you because I wanted that advantage. So, um, yeah, and, and it did. It gave him advantage, put him up on a scoreboard, and the scoreboard also was a nice little I, touch. I to agree. This game. So trying to get up there on the top of the scoreboard is is just you, that you start playing and you're going, oh, if I could have just got a little bit more, I would have jumped up a couple. It, it, the scoreboard is definitely uh, a all right. Thing so, so what did you give what graphics? To say. So graphics wise, now uh, again, this is one of those games where it's simplistic in its form, but it does the job. It, it ties you into the right. game, and uh, uh, the more I played this game, the more fun I had with this game. Overall, I have to give the graphics for this game five out of five. Five out of five. Right. I'm also giving it. I'm also giving it five stars. I, I looked at it and I said to myself, "What graphical wise, what could I change?" And I got to tell you, there was nothing. They the the they did a really good job. Um, with all of what they put into the game, so uh, I thought I thought graphics wise it, it nailed it. So graphics. Is I agree. Now, what about the controls, dude? Did you find yourself messing uh, like really having a hard time with the controls? If at first I was trying to figure out because you're using two controllers at the same time, it's it's kind of an unusual feeling at first because uh, you're you're stretching your controllers to do certain things. You you have to figure out. X, Y, and Z, you know what I mean? To to know which way should I turn my right hand, which way should I turn my left hand, uh, and then obviously with the buttons, with the with the uh, right. trigger buttons do. Uh, so at first I was trying to trying to figure out the controllers. The controllers uh, were just a, it wasn't a major learning curve, but it was it did take some time to get used to where to position your hands. Um, but once I figured out that controls became very natural very easy to use it was like second nature you because things are coming at you left and right and there's certain points of the game where where things are just flying at you and you just start naturally moving your hands without even thinking about it so i thought the controllers uh the controls of the game were very well right. put and, together and, and so did i so what did what did you rate it because you you just nailed on everything that i thought so yeah i also gave the controllers a, a, a five star i couldn't think of um, anything that I would change on the controller to make the game better. I'm basing my opinion on the game for what it is. It's early access. The controls were hard to get used to, but I knew what the dev was doing. I knew what he was trying to accomplish, and he nailed it. He absolutely nailed it with the controllers. So I, I gave the controllers also. Yeah, I, I also did the same thing. I found myself looking at the game as a real old-school um, old style arcade game and and I was yep. having when it, it, it almost it almost felt to me like I was going to put in a quarter and I was going to see if I can get that high score and and right yeah it, it did feel like a, a an arcade right, which game come to kind of ties so. into the gameplay but I also gave the control a um, five out of five I thought the controls were, were awesome I didn't have a problem I you know okay. trying to learn at first was you know i didn't know about the slow mo until i hit the button but once i learned the controls i was loving it dude so five out of five for me yeah yeah so what did you think about gameplay we touched on this a little bit all right gameplay is an easy one for me dude i had a blast with this game <laughs> yeah this game i can tell you this game from beginning uh, with, the, with the exception of maybe uh, and, and again i said in our last review it, it's the same thing if they would take the scoreboard and maybe put um, a, a, you know gameplay how to play the game what things mean if they take that and uh and just right throw that up there for even just be just until the game starts and that and, would that would enhance and it would be as simple as you know uh, one of the one of the, the the objects come down and the game pauses and it just says press right. press your right trigger to shoot then as the object comes yeah. into the play area and another one comes down, it'll pause again and say, okay, press the trigger to go into slow-mo. Simple things like that. It doesn't even have to be something to yeah, It's just when you first play it. 
something to do, just something that, you know, to, to introduce you to the game. Um, gameplay right. for me took a, a little bit of a hit. And here's the reason why. Okay. When me and my daughter played this game, we had a great time. We were like, this is a fantastic game. But because it reminded us so much of the old school games, we were wishing that there were different modes to play. Like like them like right. like a wall dropping down so that you had a way of playing it like the old style um what's what's the game I'm thinking of? The the one that you mentioned. Um uh, asteroids. Uh, asteroids. So maybe that being an asteroids or an enemy where you had an enemy come down where he, he took a lot of shots and he required certain right. points where you had to use slow-mo exactly. and you... there, he would deploy little ones i i think those right. type of things where if you got you if you beat this one you felt like you accomplished something else and and got rewarded for it and moved on i think that element of the game was missing that and, and that right there in itself that um is almost exactly what i was going to touch on if there was a leveling system um built in uh, and that could be in a different game mode because the game the game as it is right now is great it, it's great um but if he would if the developer he or she would throw in uh different game modes it would be on top and also i knocked it back uh, because the environment for me uh started to be like ah, eh, you know i wish i wish i could change the environment and maybe this is all in the works i don't know but if there was a way of changing the environment as well right that would be a problem now i you know what I, I, I kind of agree. I enjoyed the environment. The environment for me didn't get old. Uh, uh, so for me, I didn't I didn't knock it down any points for the environment. I just wish there were other modes to play. So for that, I yeah. ended up giving the game a four out of five. Uh, I gave it a four okay. and a half. All right. Um, only because of the game. The gameplay as it stands right now is uh, ridiculously fun. Um, and and the enhancements that I'm talking about uh, are truly there's just that yeah. enhancements, uh, but they don't take away from the gameplay as it stands right now. They're, but you know you just you, you can't help but to play it and wish. Yeah, no, no, I, I agree. And maybe a uh, little, little, you know, maybe it should be 4.5. But I'm going to stick with my guns here and say four because you you know it, it's it's a box and you're shooting around. But you know, for me, I, I got to tell you, yeah, I'm, I, not, I, I'm I, not saying it's a bad game. I love the gameplay. I just wish there was a little bit other things like other stages, bosses, maybe some other things like that. Right, and and, and the tutorial or board which shows gameplay, you know, how, how to play. I mean, that's all right. stuff that I, I would give it another five star if, if it had that. All right, so let's move on to the price. So okay. I believe as of right now, this game is currently on Steam for nine ninety nine. Is that right? Yeah, I, I believe so, okay. nine to ten bucks. So we'll say ten dollars. Did, did you think it was worth ten dollars? It's absolutely worth buying for ten dollars. And that's only because of it being early access, and uh, if the game is being heavily developed, all these things could be added. And then, you know, ten dollars is, is a great okay. price for this game. So, I'm going to say right now, early access. I would have liked to seen it around the eight dollar mark. Um, you know, seven. You know, you know, just a little bit cheaper. But ten dollars is not a bad price. It's just it 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 didn't right. grab me. For, for I have a different $10. perspective on this because when you look at the other games and you look at you know when I look at my Steam library and I and I look at how much I spent on some of the games in my Steam library uh, and you look at this game and you look at uh, in size how much smaller this game is in comparison to some to some of these bigger titles that that cost around twenty nine thirty dollars you look at this game and you go no. Uh, from what I'm seeing, it's not worth ten dollars. You, you, you. you it, there's only one element of the game. It, you know, there's, there's. It's, it, it's going to. It probably is going to get old. But when I started playing the game and I started to have a great time, and then me and my daughter started to compete with each other, and it's sad because her score is actually my score in the game. There was no way to, you know, of setting up different people in the game. We found ourselves getting our money's worth out of it. It's one of those games where you will return back to. This is that type of thing where you start to enjoy the the, the environment and because you're always getting thrown different things 
you get to in, I, I tend to enjoy it and because I'm enjoying the level itself and the level grows on you and gets more challenging I I thought the ten dollars was okay but I, I I would have to agree if the price was dropped a little bit down I, I think it probably would hit home with a lot of other players um Right. I just think the $10 yeah. mark is tinkering on somebody sitting there going, should I pick up this game or not? You know, should I wait for a Steam sale and grab this game? I can tell you the game is very entertaining. It's one of those games I will constantly go back to. Matter of fact, when I'm testing my, my you know, my VR and I want to test to make sure things are working right, I used to have some go-to games and Shatter Everything is now that go-to game where... Yeah. I, I agree. It's it's one of those ones that you can. It's it's a quick play. It's it's arcadeish. If you like um, old school arcade that's the games, game. um, then this is good. This and is maybe right that's up your maybe that's right what up it is. Your you know, we we grew we, you yeah. know we grew up in the seventies and eighties, and these were the type of games, not VR, but these were the type of games where you know if you had a quarter, your goal was to get the high score and i find myself yep, you wanted you, you wanted your i find myself that. playing I, this I, game I, to do exactly that there's an aspect of that game that makes I, that that brings it home to me i i i, I actually love the game you're, you're absolutely right i i almost in some sense wish that a box would come up to put three letters in right. at the end of the game so you can your score uh, would exactly be on, on the exactly. top with three letters. So that when somebody oh. else goes in, like my daughter, and she does better than me, she can actually put her initials up there because it gives you that right. arcade exactly. feel. I actually felt that exactly it gives you the, the bonusly arcade feel. You're absolutely right. So here's my so, conclusion: what, when I have a game where okay. I pick it up and I start it to test to make sure that my system is working properly, and I find myself not stopping the game until I complete the game. To me, it's worth the price of the mission. And for me, this yeah. one was a winner. So for me, I did I, I did have to sit back and go, this is a recommended game for me. I do recommend Shatter Everything in, in VR. I, I thoroughly enjoyed yeah. the game. My daughter thoroughly enjoyed the game. She was, she was like, this is one of the better games in our library. So what, how many, um, what did you overall, give it? Yep. Dude, I, I wanted to give it a five, but I had to give it a 4.5 only because I wish there were other modes to play. Yeah, okay. You you gave it exactly okay. what I gave it, four and a half stars. Um, it, 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 if, if there was modes, different environments, um, you know, a little tutorial at the beginning, um, but those are all just, you know, they're all things I would like to see. Um, overall, it was a, 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 an outstanding game. It's very enjoyable to play. Um, very arcade-ish. If you like that type of arcade game, you're absolutely going to love, uh, uh, you know, Shatter Everything. I think it was absolutely well done. I can't wait to see what they add in the future. Um, it was just, it was, it was a really, really good game. Yeah, I, would, I, I, would I totally agree. It. If you were a kid of the '80s, '70s, '80s, and you hung out at the arcade, this one's a no-brainer. Sh Shatter Everything is a no-brainer. No you're going to love it. You're going to love it. And e even if you're not a kid of the '80s, it's still, it's still a very challenging arcadey type game and and if you like those um challenging type arcade games you're yeah my daughter loved this game so you know that, that says a lot too yeah. she's different generation all right so that was shatter everything if you enjoy this content please uh make sure you do this you know the youtube like, stuff that you do like comment hit the subscribe. subscribe please please subscribe to the channel we're, we're trying to do our best to mix things up we're, we're put, putting video videos up as much as we can so hit the subscribe button we're trying to at least build the channel up so we would appreciate you know the all the love and uh and don't forget to hit the bell notification so you'll get notified of our our next uh our next video which should be coming shortly absolutely Bye. so thank you for watching up here you will find right a couple here, here. other videos that we put together uh please uh please enjoy and until the next time this is bill and bob from twins and vr and we'll see you